Hey everyone, so now you know the basic of animation and after effects, we can move to our next step that that is making comic book animation. I will try to keep it easy so that you don't get confused. So let's start with making new composition. Let's make this comp ratio as width 2000, height 3079. I knew the size by going in Photoshop file of this document and checked its canvas size so that we can make perfect composition for animation. Let's set the duration 20 seconds. You can see this now looking like a poster or comic page size. So let's bring our files. Here you can see I have already created different layers of comic page according to my need. You can do that as according to your need. Let's import our superhero body and hand in After Effects. Let's create a solid layer. Color it according to you. Name it as background 1. You can see that this solid layer ratio is as same as our composition. Now drag our both layer above the BG1. Scale it accordingly. Let's make it as pre-comp. Name is as hero. Here you can see if we adjust our hero in pre-comp then it will affect the main composition too. Let's animate its position first. You can make it according to you. Now to make the animation look smooth, select both the keys, right click on mouse, go to keyframe assistant, then easy ease, hotkey is F9. Now you can see the position animation. Now you can see this icon, this is used to make quick motion in any object. You need to click on the body points of our character in main composition as shown. We need to make points in body joints so that we animate so that our animation can look more good. Here you can see when we move this point it create animation to the character. Now let's set the right hand animation separately. We are doing this because this hand is not part of the main character. That's why we have to give it separate animation. If we try to give it puppet animation then the body will get broken. So let's give it. So let's animate it like we did in our last videos.
Now let's see the preview. Let's select Puppet Tool. Just by selecting, you can see that all previously added points are now visible. Here, you can see that what happens when we try to animate using Puppet on Hand. It, it break because this hand is in separate layer. So let's animate the head first. Here, I'm not able to animate this because of the position keys. Let me remove it. I'll add it after using puppet animation. We only have to move the head and adjust the timer and move the head again and it will make keys in self. Here you can see the preview. Press U on keyboard. U is used to see any hidden keys on the layer. Now you can see that there is a auto generated keys for this puppet when, when we animate head. So let's adjust the keys and make this head animation a bit smooth and slow. These are the keys generated these are the keys generated while we add puppet to the body parts let's move them let's move these few frames forward so that we can adjust the head nicely Okay, now let's move to the other hand. Here you can see that when we are trying to animate the hand, the legs are moving too. Unfortunately, this is one of the advantages of using puppet tool. We can't control its strength or area, so we have to go with it for now. Here you can see that when I move the hand, the key got created itself. I think the legs are moving more than expected. Let's fix this by adding few point of puppet on legs too. And now you can see the lower legs are fixed on their place. Let's animate the legs also. Move the leg, then move the time timer few frames forward. Do, do this again and here you are done. Let's animate this leg also. Do as you did it with the first leg. Okay, let's animate this hand a bit more. Here, now you can see the preview.
and now let's add that position key again as we did in the starting move the character up out of the frame Okay, this is good now. Now let's add scale key frame also. To give this more good animation, adjust it according to your animation. You can do anything like add opacity key or change anchor or whatever you feel like you can do to make the animation more good. Okay, let's save the file first so that we don't lose any data if the software got crashed or anything. Okay, always remember to save your data time to time because after effects may get crashed if the file becomes heavy. Okay, let's add few more keys to give it more effect. So now you can see that it looks more better. Now select all the keys, right click on your mouse, click on keyframe assistant to make it easy ease. This will make the animation smooth. Okay, this looks good to me. Now let's add background to this. Go to file, select BG and drag it in After Effects project panel. Now let's set the key for scale. I want it to make like so big that it won't appear in starting but after time it will come back to its normal size. Here you can see the preview. Let's make this key ease ease too. By selecting them both and right click on your mouse and add easy ease from keyframe assistant. I think I should add more scale in it. Let's move few frames forward and add another keyframe in it. Scale it a bit, let's move the key at somewhat here, around 3 seconds. Let's adjust the position again here that if you want to overwrite any key then you have to go on the same key because if you are not on the same key then it won't overwrite it. It will create new key and it will make your animation bad. Let's set opacity also for the background. I think this is good now.
Okay, let's add another key in position also so that it won't look still. Let's adjust the keys. Okay, I think this is good now. Let's add text or title on it. Just drag and drop the text on timeline. Let's adjust the anchor point and keep it somewhat here. Let's scale it and keep this text here. Zoom the viewport and move to text area by holding space bar and using left mouse button. Ok, I think this is looking good here. You can adjust it according to your choice. Let's move the anchor again and put it here. I want to give this text a scale animation. So let's set the keyframe here and scale it like this. Let's set the viewport fit or back to normal. Here you can see the animation. Make these keys ease ease too. Let's put this last key somewhat here. Okay, this looks good to me. Now let's add other text info. Put it above the title layer. Let's adjust the scale and position of it. Let's set the opacity animation for this. I think this is good now. This looks good to me. Set the final rendering duration. You can adjust the final output video time by using this icon. Just slide it according to your need and set the in point and out point. I think this is okay. Let me set the out point now. I think 7 seconds is ok. This is looking good. Now let's render this. Render means getting final output on video format. Just go to file, export, add to render queue. Now you will see this option here. 
see the output module format to quick time and output to here you need to set the location where you want your video to be saved let's name it as video 5 and save now click on this render option you can see the render is in process this will make this will take time depending according to a system configuration now you can know now you know how to animate objects in after effects and get its final output you can now explore it by practicing on your own This is lagging because there is so much things going on in background. So here our final video ends.